Good morning, everybody. It is 3.47 a.m. The weather just started up here. It was re really windy for the past about 45 minutes, but it just started up here. So we're going to take a whole tour around the whole town. There's going to be nobody but us out here on the road. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, but it started off as rain. I, I'm just like so frustrated. But I'm pretty sure by the time we get back, we'll be good. It's not going to be just rain. It's not gonna be just rain. Hope everyone's doing great this morning. Um, yeah, I'm so tired. I set my alarm for every 30 minutes, just just to check. So, I love you guys. Right now we are going to just drive through Moon Ridge. Um, we're going to drive into Upper Moon Ridge right now because I think we can catch some snow up there right now. It is so windy out there, you guys. Like It, it was like rattling the whole house. So, this is what we got going. And you know what? We're going to go into Upper Moon Ridge uh, this direction. We're going to turn right here on Club View. This is where the zoo is. Man, look at the lights on those trees just getting just blasted. Man. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. drive we should find some snow but no matter what this is what I do you guys as soon as the weather changes we're out here doing this 3:49 a.m. but I love doing this for you guys man I love it I love it I love it All the snow was supposed to start at one o'clock, you guys, and just like usual, everything gets pushed back, and then it said three o'clock, and then it said four o'clock, and now it's saying like six o'clock. I'm just like, are you kidding me? But since this is weather, and pretty nasty weather as it as it is, we got to do this. We have got to do this. So we're coming up to Bear Mountain Ski Resort, you guys. We're gonna take a little look. Uh, see, here's Bear. Look at these flags. Look at how how hard these darn flags are blowing. Look at this. I mean, just blowing like a champ. But yeah, that's Bear Mountain. Get a little rizane. A little rizane. But the temperature's gonna gonna be dropping off shortly here. But I wanted to climb a bit so we can uh yeah kind of see what's going on. Maybe get a little bit of snow up there. So we're just going to do a, just a quick little run up to Upper Moon Ridge and then drive around the complete valley for the initial part of this massive storm. And hopefully by the time we're done, because it should be about an hour at least, hopefully by the time we're done, there'll be a lot more snow coming down or just snow coming down, period. golf course is to our left. <clears throat> yeah, this is cool. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to go up Sheephorn. And then 
and then come down the other side of Upper Moon Ridge. So we're gonna take this to Upper Moon Ridge and then we're gonna, just gonna go straight down. And then we're gonna head over towards, uh, towards Baldwin and then we'll come all the way back around through Fawnskin and well, Big Bear City and Fawnskin, etc., etc. Temperature's 36 degrees. I am hoping that this climb will show us some snow falling from the sky. Looks like they already did get a little bit of snow over here. A little tiny bit. Maybe that was from the other day. sad because one of our family friends from my older siblings from childhood from Corona Del Mar High School um, they owned this house right here and his wife died of cancer and there she was so young she, this happened I, 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 I believe just over a year ago and they have children and then just it's just it's just horrible you guys really nice people she loved this channel too, which was just so cool. Oh man, it's just it's just so heartbreaking, you guys. Life is so heartbreaking. So now we're gonna turn down Luna. We're gonna turn up Luna. And then this should hit uh whatchamacallit, Villa Grove. Yep, yeah, so we're in Upper Moon Ridge now. Slam on my brakes real quick just to make sure that we'll be okay. Yeah, so yeah, we're just kind of, kind of taking a short route through Upper Moon Ridge just so we can get a little, a little peek at what's going on up here, if anything. I'm the only one who's going to be on the road right now, which is the way I like it. It's the way I like it, man. I mean, you can you can tell it looks pretty ominous out here. Now, this road right here, Butte, this is, this is very scary when there's ice and snow, even for me. So just always be careful coming into Upper Moon Ridge when there's ice and snow because Butte, B-U-T-T-E, is one of the main roads to get up here. Obviously, right now I'm not going too slow because it's it's 36 degrees. I'm not, now it's 35 degrees. Oh, tree branch. 35 degrees. But yeah, I'm, I'm not too concerned about sliding at the moment. And we got our snow tires put on a week ago, so it'll be good. But we'll be better. I wouldn't say good, we'll be better. Let's put it that way. Unplug the phone real quick. The phone feels so heavy right now. Maybe because I'm just so tired. And I'm gonna have to hold this for like an hour. But that's okay. It's worth it. I love you guys. I love you guys. So we're not gonna go back through Moon Ridge because we just drove through Moon Ridge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little side street out to Big Bear Boulevard and then head to the Baldwin Lake side of town. And then we'll go all the way back around to the complete other side of town. 
but yeah, this is a disappointment. At least for snow at the moment, but it's coming, it's coming. <clears throat> it looks like two feet of snow is still gonna be the prediction, so we shall see. Hope all of you are doing really well this morning. I know a lot of you are anticipating this weather because I know a lot of you wanted to come up here. Okay, so this is McAllister. If we make a left, it'll take us into Moon Ridge, but we are exiting Moon Ridge to head into Big Bear City. This is, we're gonna take this to Division Road, which is right next to the Snowplay and Motel 6. So right where Big Bear Boulevard and Division Road meet. That's, sorry about that. I was saying um, uh, the corner of Division Road and Big Bear Boulevard is where one of the our, one of our two major snow play areas are and the Motel 6 right there. Okay, so now we're going to turn right on Division Road. Wow, it is so windy. Still 35 degrees. I mean, we, we could get snow at any time now. Dang it, I forgot. Ooh, what is that? It was a trash can. I need, I forgot to grab a soda, or not a soda. I'm not drinking caffeine anymore because of all this, like, hype high blood pressure stuff. I'm worried that it'll like make me panic or something. I don't know. So I'm still a little bit scared. So I've been drinking Sprite and a lot of juice. <laughs> All right, we're on Division Road, guys. I'm interested to see if we pass even a single car in this whole drive. If we do, it's probably gonna be police officers, which is fine with me. I know they'll be very, very safe out here. I don't suggest any of you drive out in this weather right now because it is gonna change quickly. Motel, I won't go. Only because there's so many other places in town. And you can stay at a Motel 6 anywhere in the country. And I know just like the Best Western up here, kind of same thing, but the Best Western, the, the Big Bear Chateau up here, it kind of feels like a miniature version of the hotel at The Shining, or in the movie The Shining, The Overlook. It just feels like a miniature version of it. All work and no play makes Nick a dull boy. together and then get it uploaded and then go back out to start recording some more. You know, let me grab something to drink. Hang on. We're going to pull in here for a second. Okay, well, just came over here and uh, 
a 24 hour circle K. They seem to be closed for a few minutes or something. No customers, so the employee's probably in the back sleeping or something or eating. <laughs> Welcome to Big Bear. That's the one thing, that's the only thing that I really miss from down the hill is that business is taken very seriously. Hours of operation are taken very seriously, but I'm sure they have to, I'm sure they only have like one employee at this time. So I'm sure they have to eat and stuff. So I'm not going to be too upset about it, but I'm really thirsty and I could use a darn Sprite right now. I could use a Sprite right now. Five degrees still. And then, guys, we're coming up here, uh, right just here to the left. I'm gonna roll down the window. It's called Big Bear Smoke and Vape. That whole bottom floor, for the most part, where it says open. They are the nicest people. He is the nicest man, the nicest father, the nicest husband. And I always, always suggest to you guys to shop there. They have Big Bear trinkets. They have all your smoking stuff, but a lot of Big Bear trinkets and stuff. Just just, just cool little things that you won't find anywhere else up here. Um, once again, they are amazing people. I strongly suggest giving them your guys' business. They also have another store over by Sandy Sports Bar in the Big Bear Lake side of town. And that's his new store. And uh, because I love him so much, man, I just really want to help them grow a lot bigger because they are growing bigger. They opened up a second store and I'm very, 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 very proud of him. Um, obviously, when you open a, a new store, it, it takes a little time for it to grow. So I thought maybe I would let you guys know that that's a place that I shop, and that's a place that I suggest you guys spend a, spend a few bucks. Um, as I said, they're good people. They're good people. They actually care about the tourists. Um, as, as a matter of fact, I think it's one of the only stores that I've been to up here where it's not it's it's not like more expensive up here like it usually is than down the hill. They're very fair. And once again, very good people. Big Bear Smoke and Vape. The owner's name is Sahil. If you mention this channel, I'm sure he would hook you up. But it's not like we have like a reciprocal kind of thing going. I do this because I care about the guy. It's not like he pays me <laughs> to say anything like this. I just really, really care about them a lot. And he's always been good to me. He made me feel welcome in this town right when I first moved here. So that, that makes me happy. You know what, we're gonna drive up into Sugarloaf a little bit. And then go down the other end. So this is Maple, this is a street and it's very dangerous as well. When there's ice and snow on it. We are back up to 37 degrees with some light rain. Oh my gosh, am I seeing a couple snowflakes? Or are those leaves? I can't tell. Those are definitely leaves right there. I can't believe this. Right. It's too early for dumb jokes like that, sorry. It's 4.09 in the morning. Uh, we still got quite a little trek here. But we will make it. It'll be nice too because the hour it takes me to like patch this video together, I'll be able to like sleep for 30 minutes or something just to make sure that I don't overshoot it because I know we're going to be very close to the transition time meaning snowfall. Look at the fire department. Hey there fire department. Okay 
right, so now we just turned from Maple onto I, I, I think I think this is called Baldwin. wearing them in snow right now oh i'm sorry just really tired so we're not going to turn right this is highway 38 a lot of you come into town through this way this is what i tell my mom this is what the direction i have her come from through mentone and whatnot and then driving down here it's a little bit longer of a drive but there's less chance of you guys falling off of thousand foot cliffs and uh, that's what i would prefer for you guys to get here safely so you can enjoy your time with your family and just create some beautiful lifelong memories well, there's two cars right there what is going on all right so yeah we're on highway 38 we're going to turn into baldwin lake up here basically when highway, where highway 38 dead ends up here at big bear boulevard basically dead ends uh just we'll turn right onto shea road and take that all the way through kind of be able to own the road in these conditions though you don't have to worry about really staying in your lane too much at least me because uh, I want to be as safe as possible and keep in mind all these pine needles they'll act like ice sometimes you won't get good traction if there's a huge pile of them so just be very careful so now we're gonna turn right here that's a cute little place right there Big Bear City to the left, one mile, but we're going this way. We're going through Baldwin. And this is the part of town that gets the least amount of snow, you guys. And the further we go this direction, there's always more proof of that. We'll be seeing that later, later today for sure. I'll show you guys the Big Bear snow rule. That's a, a, that's a term that I coined when I first moved up here and was doing all my videos at first I realized that we could have a foot of snow at the dam and there might be like two inches over here not right here there might be like four inches right here but the further we go for out this direction which we're going to the end we're going to the very end where where highway 18 starts going down the mountain on the backside they get very little snow over there but if you're staying over here and you wake up and there's like six inches or a foot of snow over here uh, then, then you know Big Bear got absolutely obliterated. <sighs> I want you guys to get the full tour as it is beginning. 38 degrees. I do whenever we get any weather changes this is what we do wish it was snowfall but I'll shut up about that we're kind of gonna drive a little bit faster through here right now I hope nobody gives me too much crap about it speed limit's 35 we're going 38 so it's not that bad here's a big branch of the road
over here to the left. This is all Baldwin Lake. It's complete, it's a huge, huge prairie area. But when we get big snowfall or big thunderstorms, it turns into a lake for a little bit and it looks beautiful. Some of the properties over here become lakefront property for a very short period of time, but it's really nice. On this road right here, there's some, some spots to sled also when we do get some snow. So for those of you who don't want to go to the snow play parks, which I suggest you do, even though it costs a couple bucks, it's just so much easier and so much safer for the kids because you don't have to worry about sliding down the hill and overshooting the bottom and going right into the road. Hey, tumbleweed, I'm going faster than you. Hey, don't cut me off. Yeah, I have my window open a little bit. It feels so good. 39 degrees now, guys. I'll bet you by the time we get all the way to the other side of town at the Big Bear Dam, it'll be 34 degrees and snowing maybe. So I don't know if you can see way out, oh my gosh, look, there's stars above us. See, all the clouds are over in my area. How crazy is that? There's stars everywhere above us. But then you can see the darkness of the clouds over by my house, that is just so cool. So we'll be heading back that way very shortly here. Exciting. I didn't expect to see stars, but as I said, this part of town is right up against the desert. So the moisture from the ocean over there from that side runs into this really dry climate right here and it's so dry it's, it, it just eats up the storms out here so that's why you don't get that much snow out here and it's only an eight mile difference from here to, to the opposite side of town obviously it's going to seem like longer than that because we're driving all the way around we're doing the whole loop like we used to do all the time but yeah wow it looks so pretty out there roll down my window again just so you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see those lights that are that are making the clouds bright out there and all the stars in the sky, but that's where I live, where it's really kind of bright and dark at the same time. <laughs> degrees guys 40 freaking degrees let's just make sure that we can see that well yeah 40 degrees do you guys see that let's see if i can get there we go 40 degrees and we're almost to my favorite time i will be showing you guys when my favorite time shows up here but we're going to kind of haul some ass and get through here there's not going to be any kids out at 4 20 in the morning my favorite time i shouldn't assume that though right but there's no snow no one's going to be sledding right now i'm not even going the speed limit it feels like it feels like i'm going fast but look guys i'm not even going the speed limit so i don't want any of you getting getting mad at me i really do care i am very very respectful i've become a lot more respectful on the road because of you guys Look at the clouds coming over the mountaintop. Hang on a second. Look at that out there. It's really dark and nasty out there. That's where we are headed. That is where we're headed. We are headed that way. Concerns about sliding out at all right now, you guys. So we're kind of hauling a bit of ice. Speed limit, I think, is 40 or 35, and we're going 40 right now. So, for those of you who 
are scared to drive up here in really nasty, nasty weather, but you still wanna get up here, if you're willing to drive quite a bit further distance, take the Cajon Pass to the other side of this mountain range, to the desert side, get off on Bear Valley Road, and you turn right and go all the way till it dead ends on Highway 18, and then turn right on Highway 18, and then just follow the signs to Big Bear. It's a lot easier getting up here that direction, and when there's no weather, it, it only takes me nine minutes from the Mitsubishi plant at the moment to get up here to the top. Nine minutes. Keep in mind, in the high desert though, we, you're basically starting at like 3,000 feet. So you're already starting way up high, so it doesn't take long to get up here. So you would make a right here. See Lucerne Valley to the right? Literally, we're right here, just about at the top here where you would turn down to go down the mountain. So this is the back side. Now we're gonna head all the way back to the other side of town. 39 degrees, I forgot to show the clock when it was 420, I can't believe that. But it's 421. Kind of a bummer, I missed 420, but hey. I don't burn anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. There is no more 420 for me. Oh, oh, that was a big old tumbleweed. 
Yeah, it's getting pretty nasty out there, folks. But the other side of town should be better. Oh, 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 oh. Stay in your own lane. Tumbleweeds feel like they own the road. Not in my house. Not up in here. Not up in here. Speed limit's 55 right here. I'm only going 50. So I want you guys to feel like I'm going too fast. I'm driving safe for the conditions and my experience. And I'm not putting anybody, any, I'm putting nobody else in jeopardy because there's no one else on the road right now. So we're just going to stay right here in the middle just to give us more opportunity to move left or right if we need to. Oh, oh. I don't like seeing that though. That was a, that was a garbage bag. So we're starting to get some more rain now. As I said, when, when you're in Baldwin, there's clear skies, nothing going on. Now we're starting to get rain again. 38 degrees, temperature's gonna drop to 37 right up, oh, right now, 37 degrees, look at that. Look at that. Let me make sure that we get a good view of that. And it's gonna keep on dropping. I'm willing to bet at the end of this, we're gonna get snow. I just hope I don't get pulled over because I am the only one on the road and, and I am gonna be trying to get through this quickly because this video is going to take forever to up. Wow, it's really coming down now. Yeah, I'm thinking of an Afro Man song because of all the tumbleweed that I'm seeing. <laughs> Afro Man was a great, great rapper. For those of you interested in that type of music. But yeah, we're starting to get some rain now. The temperature's gonna fall to 36 in just a second, I guarantee you that. And we could be really close to the transition period now, guys, so I think the closer we get towards the Big Bear Dam, we will have the better chance for snow. Speed limit's 40 miles an hour right here. We're going 50. As I said, we're going to kind of hug the middle a bit because it's safe. There's no one on the road. You can see cars coming for a long way. So I promise you guys, I'm not putting anyone in danger. I'm just trying to keep myself safer, but allow myself to drive a little bit faster. sitting on the corner here. This is Division, or yeah, Division Road right there. We went down Division Road at one point and turned right to head to Baldwin. Oh shit, shoot. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse, guys. Please tell me that's not a cop, that's not a cop. I didn't mean to curse. I did not mean to curse. right now you can see the car coming around a blind turn that's the dumbest thing you can ever do never ever assume anything like that always get into your, into your own lane when you can't see around the corner so now i'll be getting back in the middle That's a cop when they're doing an 
that. I mean, he's 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 on me right now. But I don't know if, if it's a cop. If the lights turn on, then it's a cop. Look at how much nastier the weather is getting as we're entering Big Bear Lake area. And keep in mind guys, I'm holding the camera the whole time. I've had many really nice gimbals. Some of you guys have sent me some really nice ones too. But when I attach it to the car and we're driving, it shakes so so bad that it just doesn't it, it's 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 worthless because the videos come out horribly so i have to use my arm as a gimbal and it gets very tiring that, that really bothered me that that guy sped up on me like that but it's okay i didn't want to have to open a can of uh of whoop big bear Headed now is into the, we're head, we're heading over towards Fawnskin, so we're just gonna drive through Fawnskin and then uh, yeah come back around the front side where you guys typically drive from. So we'll be at the Big Bear Dam in about I don't know 15 minutes, and that's where you guys are usually used to driving in from. So you'll get a good perspective from that point driving into town, and I'm excited about that. But unfortunately, we're not getting any snow at the moment, but it is nasty out here. If it was a couple degrees colder, it'd be snowing pretty good right now, because we've got some pretty good rain right now. side of the lake it's going to be a lot heavier I guarantee you you're going to like the way you look I guarantee it so it's 4.34 in the morning hopefully we get to see some cute houses with all these Christmas decorations over here that'd be kind of cool oh that's pretty that is pretty very pretty 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 temperature drop drop my friend please drop jeez it's so windy out here it's pushing the car everywhere so we're running parallel to the lake right now the lake's here to the left I don't know if you can hear it or see anything but all those lights that's across the lake right there kind of hard to see but I think you guys got the gist Oh my god, I just got soaked. Oh my gosh. That was very nasty. Very cold, my friend. Once again, the lake is just 
just on the other side of these trees to the left. Oh my gosh. I have the window barely cracked, but some of the heavy rain is just pounding my face. Maybe it'll make an improvement. <laughs> good to see you guys today man it's good to see you guys there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of video today oh my goodness gracious great balls of fire goodness gracious great balls of fire oh my yeah feel good Almost in downtown Fonskin, you guys. And as I'm, as I told you guys, I'm giving you guys the full Big Bear Valley tour. I don't consider like Irwin Lake as part of the initial valley, even though it technically is. I consider from Baldwin and Highway 18 on the backside to Big Bear Lake and Highway 18 on the front side. This town you don't want to speed at all. I don't care what time of night, what time of day. I'm going 30 and it's a 25 right here. But as I tell you guys, a big way this town makes their money is by giving you guys tickets. So please, oh, there's somebody in the car right there. Is that a Johnny Law? So that was fawn skin. If you blinked, you missed it. Thirty-six degrees now. As I said, I'm hoping to get down to thirty-four and some snowfall by the time we get to the other side. Oh, let's see if I can zoom. There we go, thirty-six. in Denver it would snow at like 42 degrees all the time but it's because the different layers in the atmosphere just not too high above us it'd be so much colder and then it would go through a layer of much warmer and then colder the weather's incredible you guys it really is For those of you that were scared to drive up right now, I think you would have been okay. I know it would be a nightmare driving up the mountain right now because you'd be stuck in, in the clouds for sure and it would be very scary. But this wouldn't have been a bad time to come up because it's just rain right now. It was snowing, man. This would be a good, a good amount of snow coming down. Come on, 36. Let's turn. Let's get to 35, huh? Let's do this. You can do it. Up, oh, 37. Unbelievable. As I said, all these pine needles in the road, you guys, they will act as like kind of like ice a bit. So if you slam your brakes, you're not gonna have much traction. Just be very careful with that. And we are running parallel to the lake again. The lake is here to the left. I'm gonna roll out the window a little bit so you can see. I know you can't 
can't see the lake, but that's the lake. Dude, is there somebody behind me again? Uh, I'm gonna have to hit it. Get out of here. 36 degrees. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we will get some snow before we get back to the house. If we get back to the house. Holy moly. Holy moly, it's cold out there. Oh, did I just see a snowflake? So we went from Baldwin, okay, we were at Baldwin Lake, you guys. Least snowy part of town. And we are coming up to the snowiest part of town, which is the Big Bear Dam. I will let you know when we're there. As I said, temperature dropped back down to 36. I anticipated dropping down to 35 in just a moment. If Big Bear Lake was another 15 feet higher up, you guys, we wouldn't be on the snow line like this all the time. It sucks because our biggest storms, they're usually from the atmospheric rivers and the atmospheric rivers tap into that tropical or subtropical moisture. So it's warmer coming in. And then once the brunt of the storm is done, then the cold front comes through and then, and then we'll get snow, but not that much because all the moisture is already gone. It's such a joke. Okay, it's a little bit foggy. 35 degrees, what did I tell you? 35, let's just slow down here so you guys can see. Hang on, there's no one behind us actually. Okay, so I have a feeling we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna get some snow here in just, just a moment. What did, I, what, what did I tell you guys? There'd be a five, six degree difference from one side of town to the other, and it's the same elevation. Wow, those are some huge raindrops. guys usually drive in from just like uh, so you so you just crossed the dam and now you're you're heading into Big Bear and I think I see a snowflake yep that was a snowflake that was a snowflake funny enough right where I thought it would be too but it's not much it's still a big mixture of well mostly rain summit because they're a couple hundred feet higher in elevation and I think that'll make the difference. Uh, guys, I don't think we passed one vehicle. No, we did pass the snow plow. That's right. We did. 34 degrees, guys. Oh my God, it's coming. 
Oh my god, it's coming. Let me slow down real quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If this was snow right now, guys, 100% snow, this would be like, this would be blizzard conditions. Because we've got at least 35 mile per hour sustained winds. It's insane. This side right now, it's not that windy because we're being blocked by this big mountain to the right of us. But this is uh, this is getting pretty awesome. Oh, here's a couple cars right here. Let me turn off my brights here. Oh, gee. I hope I don't have a bunch of imposters trying to make videos too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's flattering actually. For my first few years, there were quite a few few other people doing this as well. <coughs> After I was doing it. But I don't, I don't know why you guys love me a lot more, but I'm so happy you do. Seriously, it was like two years, my first two years here. And then all of a sudden, randomly, I would see driving around trying to talk like me and stuff like that it was so funny so funny come original you get to become the come original Lights will give you a perspective of, of, of how heavy the moisture is coming down right now. Maybe not. I thought it would, but I thought wrong. Yeah, we're, we're going 50, the speed limit's 40. Trust me, you guys, I need to get this video uploaded and then I'm gonna have to go right back out because it's gonna be all snow soon. so Christmassy and so beautiful. I like it a lot. I 
One of my favorite places to stay is the Big Bear Frontier on the left here. Ask for Louie. He's one of the coolest guys ever. Alright, here we go. We're driving into the village. And then as I said, on our way back to the house, we're going to drive up to Snow Summit. Because of the slight elevation difference, we might be getting some snow up there. Look at how beautiful this looks, guys. It's just us here. Look at how gorgeous this looks. This is just insanely beautiful. Big Bear Boulevard again. And we're gonna hang a right and maybe slide a little bit if we can. Nope, didn't happen. See, if it was snowing, the windshield wouldn't be this horrible. It's not that bad, because you guys are getting a sense of what's happening. But if it wasn't raining, it would there, there would, it would be a perfect view the whole time. you guys is for every thousand feet directly above you 
the temperature can can drop between like two and a half and seven degrees that's typically how it works here's snow summit it's nice and dark right now that's sad they're not making any snow because it's not cold enough Obviously, we have a bunch of natural snow coming, which is cuckoo. But, no. Nothing right now. We didn't change it. it the temperature didn't change at all. It stayed 37. But, yeah, guys, we just made the whole loop. The whole loopy poop. Uh, we're going to turn down Evergreen. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to slam on the brakes like that, but you can tell my snow tires and everything were great. That was just a test of the emergency braking system. I'm telling you, man, with all these pine needles too, and once the snow starts to cover it, this is going to be an ice skating rink. Almost looks like it's a dirt road doesn't it guys but it's not it's just so windy it was so windy right before I left for this drive and right now it's 457 in the mountain 457 in the mountain my friends we're getting rain and I'm not happy again Snow Mother Nature or Stepmother Nature. Bring on the snow. And then I'll call you Mother Nature again. But for right now, you're just Stepmother Nature. They got some incredibly beautiful houses on this street, you guys. I mean, humongous houses. Lots of Airbnbs. Uh, this is right across the street from my house. I live in the littlest tiny shack in the world. And then there's these huge mansions right next to me. But, someday I'll have one. Because that's what I want out of life. I don't want to just live a virtuous life and just virtue signal to everyone that, oh, uh, I'm a good person, I don't need a big house or this and that. Well, you know what, I do need a big house. You only live once, I want to enjoy it. So, anyway guys, I love you guys a lot. Good morning to you all. Hope you have a good day. This video will be uploaded shortly, and then I'll be I'll be out making another video while this is uploading. I promise. Um, thanks again for everything, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm looking forward to seeing you later. Peace out, guys.